We're going to start straight off at the top of the old queue. Yeah, I'm, You've gone. I've, I'm hairless for the moment. I'm like my cat, my sphinx cat. Your sphinx cat. You don't yeah. have a sphinx cat, do you? I do. Yeah. Yeah. Sphinx cat, her name is Diana. Princess Diana. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I, I, um, I got a hair transplant in HRB or in BlackRock last week. Um, I've got one before, um, a good few years ago. And I, I, go, I, I go every couple of months for like aftercare. Yeah. Um, and they were like, do you want to make the front a little bit denser or whatever? And I said, yeah, why not? So um, they shave your head for the procedure I got and take the hair from the back of your head and then they, they plant it at the they front. They plant it. They plant it at the front like seeds. Yeah. They call it harvesting. So you go in in the morning, they harvest the hair and then place it at the front. Fair play to you yeah. for being so open about it because yeah. it's something that goes on a lot. We're seeing yeah. people getting it done black rock, but we're seeing an awful lot of people going off to Turkey and coming back with shaved mm. heads. Yeah. Um, but like the fact that you're quite open about it and on, on social media as well, like yeah. it is, the, it's, I suppose it's not something to be ashamed of really. Well, no. And like, I think uh, there, with men going bald, it's almost like some people are like, oh, well, that's a given. It's fine. Men mm. go bald. And it's like, not all men actually do. And it can be, um, it can affect your confidence. And, you know, some people go bald and they look great and they're fine about it. But other people, me included, I was like, no, I, I kind of want to see if I can sort that out. And there is options out there. Like, I would say if anyone is thinking about it, is just go for a consultation with HRBR and they can kind of make a plan for you. Because you can go down a medication route or you can go down a transplant route. And sometimes they'll say, you don't actually need something for five years, come back to us. Or they'll say, okay, maybe get but this it, done or whatever. It's one thing that, I, you know, because we do talk about when it comes to women and it's mm. very much out there about what you can do to make yourself feel better. But friends of mine who went bald in their 20s, like it was really tough, like yeah. emotionally to go, like one mate of mine, he was like, so I'm just an old man now. Like yeah. it's really hard and you're on the dating profiles and And it's like, kind of like they're like suffering, not suffering, but like, you know, feeling it in silence and yeah. not talking about it or, and it can like change the shape of your face or whatever. So it can, it can knock your confidence and there is kind of options out there. So it's like, why not? Yeah. But I get, I get messages from, from men who kind of are like, look, please don't share this or don't tell anyone. So there is this kind of weird stigma and they're asking me for like, you know, information or like how I got it done and, and, and uh, you it's know. It's mad. Uh, listen, good on you and I'm, I, I can can't wait to see it like down yeah. around here very I'm soon as well, yeah. G.I. Jane moment uh, I like it, it's good. Yeah. yeah. What about your partner, Thanks. William, of course, like he's a full head of hair as well. You're kind of best known, like the two of you, you work together, don't yeah. you? Like give the food, you're big foodies, you've got the food truck and everything else. Mm. Is it hard separating working with their partner and yes. having a life at home. Yeah. So I think like, you know yourselves, you can work together, but then you'll yeah. go home separately. And like, can you with, imagine us? I swear to God, <laughs> oh, absolutely not. Me and William be... don't get to do that. How and like, do you, you do it? Well, we've we've gone through life doing a couple of different projects when we were, where we worked together. We brought out a cookbook and that was great, but we, we did have to learn how to be able to go home and leave the business bits at the door. I think the secret to us and any couple working together is, is to be able to get over a rouse very quickly. So we can have a disagreement about something, but we're immediately moved on to the next thing in a few minutes. You know, some, some couples that work together, or even couples in general, they can fester, and then they end up kind of like... Does that mean uh, one of you has to say sorry, though? No, we don't say sorry. That's, oh, you don't? That's kind of a thing with us. We just kind of get over it. There's no blame, like, thrown okay. at each other. If it is a disagreement about something, or, you know, if I'm throwing something across the room, I wouldn't do that. Yeah. Or, or he, or we're swinging digs. Yeah, say sorry. But if it's just, like, a little disagreement, we just get on and move on. Yeah. I, and do you have to play... Because I'm just thinking there, like, 11 o'clock, you're in bed going, come here, let's just look at that Excel sheet. Do you know, or is it like, yeah. no, it's done now? Because owning your own startup business, the Caribbean Fruit Truck, like, yeah. that's tough. Yeah, it so is. So it has to be like, no, we're not doing it after six o'clock. Yeah, pretty much. And we have okay, our Monday right. meeting Time. where we're like, that's, you know, that's happening. Uh, but after the meeting, it's like, lover time. Love her time. <laughs> love her time. Love her time. Uh, another thing you're in love with is Dublin. Like, you're a proud dub. Yes. But you kind of think, like, Dublin, it's getting a bit of a rough ride at the minute, isn't it? So you've kind of talked about how you want to make Dublin rideable again. Yeah. How? How are you going to do it? Because with the price of everything, it's... Yeah. Pretty tough going. Well, yeah, I was. I think you're talking about. I was in the Sunday Business Post talking about kind of nice things about Dublin that I feel have kind of faded away, or things we can do to maybe improve it. And one, one was like using our spaces that we have. Like I, 
I'm mad about Cork. I'm thinking of moving down there. Uh, and one thing I love about them is the English food market. Yeah. Um, and I just think we could definitely have one of those in Dublin that would help start up food people um, and, and different craft people as well. And somewhere like the, you know, the fruit and veg market in Smithfield. Yep. Like that building has been vacant Amazing. for about 10 years. So I think by just looking at different spaces that are kind of almost rotting there. The one on, on Francis Street as well. Yeah. The Ivy mm-hmm. Market. The Ivy market. I'd love if we were like yeah. utilizing those buildings a bit more. So that's kind of what I was it talking is, it about. Does, it's kind of, it does need a bit of yeah. thinking like that. And for something like it? me, a startup food person or whatever, like it would be, it would make such a difference if there was those places available. You could kind of it does start out. Feel in. like around the country when you're going to a place like La Hinch or Ennistymen or Cork and places in Limerick that they're trying to go. Okay, what can we do to entice people back? Yeah, and that perhaps the capital is taking it for granted, and it's just really corporate now. Yeah, mm. yeah, like it just and feels a bit dead inside. Yeah, and also like I want a garden for chickens and a vegetable patch and I don't think I'm going to in Dublin. Yeah. I think <laughs> your neighbours would be delighted. Yes. Maybe a little and camp out in Smithfield there you'd have plenty of room for I them. could. All go. Absolutely. Yeah, perfect. That's, yeah. that's all good. You have talked about the, the Cork thing is, is coming up a lot. Yeah. And William's from Cork. There's mm. always that decision because you know Lucy's from Wales. Mm-hmm, yeah. You're living in Ireland. Yeah. Does it cause friction or is it like a no, long term plan? I'm the one pushing us down to Cork now yeah. even though he's from Cork. Because really? you've spent so much time there down there during the pandemic and it was kind of like a test I was like okay I can manage to be down here in the middle of nowhere and love you know the lack of noise and the lack of city life so yeah I, I'm ready for my vegetable settling patch. into all married life yeah that's what's happened you can 